Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is October 16th, 2016. Last night I was a special guest on the Front Porch Radio Show on iHeartRadio. And ladies and gentlemen, they are trying to silence me. They do not want the truth to come out about Planet X. But I am delivering the truth. So stay tuned and listen to the broadcast. This will be a series of videos, so watch them all. As we speak, Brother Scott, uh, are you on the program with us? How you doing there, Greg? Oh, brother, I'll tell you what. It, 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 I have to sit on my hands to keep from waving at everybody. I'm so excited. <laughs> I tell you what now, now Scott, you you sound like you're in studio with me now. I got a brand new headset. <laughs> well, that's good, man. Uh, friends, this is Brother Scott, and he is the creator of Nibru Planet X 2016 channel on YouTube. And I recently uh, got into contact with him, and uh, we've been sharing ideas. He's keeping us well informed of what's going on. This executive order has just come across the desk this week. I've asked Scott to be on. Scott, what is going on, brother? Well, I had a feeling something like this was going to happen. Um, one of my subscribers actually emailed me the executive order, and he lives in Israel. Wow. So, yeah. So, uh Huh. I read it. I read it from top to bottom, and um, I was kind of, I was kind of worried because they had it laid out in a sixty, ninety, and one hundred day plan. It kind of seemed. So that's telling me that they know something of a timetable. So I guess you know we're just going to have to wait and see. But I had a feeling something like this was definitely going to, you know, going to come down the pipe sooner or later because they're going to have to make an announcement. And um, there's been some rumors flying about uh, Vladimir Putin giving Obama an ultimatum. And this is going all the way back to June of this year, meaning you tell the people you make an announcement let them know what we're dealing with. You have 28 days. Wow. So if by July, yeah, if by July 28th, I think it was, you do not say something to the American people and make a formal announcement, I will. That's pretty, now, that's July pretty powerful. 28th, yeah, July 28th came and gone. But, um, I mean, you know, I could see that Obama probably, you know, tried to stall him. If, in, if in fact, that... that uh, scenario, uh, scenario and that story is true. Well, you know, Putin has been warning us all over the place about nuclear war coming. Um, and I have heard that same rumor about him warning us about what's coming. You know, you remember, uh, gosh, it was, what was it, uh, two years ago when the uh, prime minister of France came out and said that we're 500 days away from a cataclysmic solar event? And, of course, that 500 days came and went. But then we hear Mike coming out talking about these five waves of energy where the first wave hit us last year, and we were really unaware of what it was going to do. And now, Scott, um, he is talking about this second wave of energy hitting. And yesterday, he was on Paul's show and just, I mean, was speaking horrific events and and I'm glad that we connected today, man. Can you kind of enlighten us as to what has happened? Because you, you were wanting to discuss the last 48 hours. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to start with this whole threat of nuclear war. And I personally think that this is just a complete psyop, um, you know, psychological operation put together by a lot of the governments to divert our attention. And I have touched on this so many times with other people. And, I mean, let's just think about it. And, and, and let's be real about it. If Putin starts firing nuclear weapons and China starts firing nuclear weapons, then the United States is going to start firing nuclear weapons. So who wins the war? Right. Nobody. So 
I, I, I always thought that the whole threat of nuclear war was a complete psychological hold on the world, the world people, not the governments fighting with each other. I just think that this is all psychological. This is meant to divert our attention away from what is really happening. Now, the last 48 hours have been absolutely mind-blowing because we monitor everything here. We monitor the sun. We monitor earthquakes. We monitor volcanoes. We monitor the space weather. And we also monitor the news. But let's be honest, uh, you know, a lot of things you see in the news is disinformation. So anyways... Um, one of our team members was up the late night of the 13th of October. Our magnetosphere collapse. And I mean collapse into nothing. And for all of the viewers, our magnetosphere is a huge shield. So just kind of picture a huge shield between us and the sun. Now, the sun emits a ton of radiation, a lot of plasma blasts, CMEs, as we call it. And a CME could reach the Earth from 93 million miles away in eight minutes. So there is no device that would be able to save us. But Mother Nature, out in space, we have the magnetosphere. So this radiation kind of bounces off of the magnetosphere and goes around the Earth. Now, we're talking about millions of miles that the shield covers the Earth in the front facing the sun. There are large bursts of solar winds that come towards the Earth. The magnetosphere deflects them. And they basically go around the Earth. Now, late night on October 13th, while the magnetosphere was being monitored, all of a sudden, these very large plasma bursts, anomalies, started to show up. Within about an hour, all of a sudden, the magnetosphere started to go haywire. And if I was actually able to show you the, um, the instrument uh, that, that you can see this on from space, it's very easy to read. It's in colors and, and graphs. Well, all of a sudden, this very large anomaly of solar energy, uh, space energy, plasma, it started to come from behind the Earth. Not from the sun, from behind the Earth. Now, is that the Which same? Means, is that the same video? Because uh, didn't BP Earth Watch kind of do a video of that as well? Exactly. Or, yeah. Okay. We're on the same page. So when that first burst came in, it moved in, and it literally collapsed our magnetosphere, and that only tells us one thing. That was a highly magnetized burst of energy, which means it had more power and it totally collapsed our magnetosphere. And it left the Earth completely vulnerable to all of the solar winds coming from the sun. Ladies and gentlemen, I urge you to continue listening to part two of the radio broadcast with myself as a special guest on the Back Porch Radio Show on iHeartRadio. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. Would also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.